There's a global water crisis affecting all of us. There's increased competition for water between agriculture, cities and the environment. You may wonder what's unique about the Global Water Initiative. Well, there's a few things. One is the, the tremendous group of people uh, who really put together their efforts to focus on research, teaching and policy advice. The other aspect is that water is often studied in an environmental or an engineering angle and this is very often from a local perspective. What we do is we add social sciences and business to this mix and we study water in a global perspective. One of the really exciting aspects of the collaboration um, that's taking place within the Global Water Initiative and specifically between some of the researchers and professors is that we're spending enough time together and working on projects together so that we're really hearing a different perspective and really learning a lot from each other. You need science to understand these problems. You need technology to think about remediation. You need systems to bring these things together. You need social scientists to, to then ask when is this going to work, when it is not going to work. I'm a natural scientist and I don't know a lot about business and finance and economics, um, but I've learned a hell of a lot in the last few years just by working with some of the folks in the Darden Business School. We want that everybody who graduates from UVA has a sense of how precious water is, what its challenges are, and what we can actually do to better manage to this valuable resource. The work of the GWI would be very attractive to many students because it is interest not just in water but in those relationships with communities and people and that's something that so many students are very interested in addressing real world challenges. We want to become, from a research perspective, an internationally recognized unit and one that also in policy questions can move the needle. And finally, we want to make a difference also on the ground through very concrete projects in Asia, in Africa. Join us in our quest to better understand this very precious resource and to address the challenges that it faces.